Welcome back. In the last video, we improved Patricia's project board. Yes, I'm really happy with how it looks. Now, let's make it a template so she can use it to manage the other launches. Before we create new boards from the template, let's add a folder to keep the boards organized. Now, let's create new boards for each of the launches from the template board. Yay! Now I have all the three boards I need for managing the three launches. Right now, the boards all look the same, but I'll make sure to change or add project-specific tasks if needed afterwards. I'm so happy to see this coming together. Now that you have all of your project boards ready, let's move on to creating a dashboard for your reporting needs. Unlike the dashboard view, which we learned about earlier in the course, this dashboard can present data from multiple boards. This allows us to create reports showing insights from across our project's portfolio. Now we have added a dashboard. Let's build it using widgets. Before we do, let's recap what insights Patricia is looking to report on. I would like to see an overall view of the progress of each of the three projects. You got it. For this, we can add an overview widget. This takes the data from the status and timeline columns in each of the project boards and translates it visually as an overview. I think a battery widget would be helpful here too, Patricia. This will show you the combined progress based on the status of all the tasks across all of the projects. You can also choose to add a separate battery widget for each launch to show the status of the task separately like I'm doing now. I'll just duplicate each widget and then change the board it's grabbing the data from. So helpful! Next, since we have costs associated per task and we're managing the projects by department, I'd also like to see the expenses per department. We can add pie charts to show that. Since the groups in our project boards are split by department, we'll choose the labels to be the groups so each section of the pie chart will represent a different department. Since the costs are tracked in a numbers column in each board, we'll change the values to take the data from those. If you want to split up the costs per department per project, I would use a bar chart to represent each project. We'll add a bar chart, and then, since each launch is represented by a board, and the y-axis has the numbers to reflect the budget. Then, to show the cost per department per launch, we can choose to stack our bar chart by groups, which represent the different departments. Incredible! I also want to see a Gantt chart to understand the timelines of all the three launches together. No problem. Let's create a Gantt widget. Here, we'll only show the items. We'll group it by our projects, label it by the task names, and color it by task status. Wow, my manager is going to love this. We think so too, Patricia. And this concludes the building of your additional workflows and the scaling step in the workflow methodology. That's some milestone. Before moving to the final step of the methodology adoption, we recommend practicing what you've just learned.